Uh, my name is uh, Kevin Lyons. I am a creative director um, sort of person and basically a part-time illustrator for um, a little bit of money here and there. I put in a bio once that I was never disobedient enough to be a dis to be a disobedient and I was never beautiful enough to be a beautiful loser. So it was kind of this like idea that those were things that you kind of shoot for and there's these tunnels of creativity that you shoot for and then you realize, hey what, I'm just good at doing what I do. I do t-shirts. Like that was a big um, thing for me when I did my show two years ago. It was like I finally realized that I basically like was good at t-shirts and why shouldn't I just keep being good at t-shirts? Um, sorry. Can we pause for one second? Well, no, I just kind of got this new motto of like, uh, kind of finally realizing, uh, finally realizing like what I do and who I am and like not really uh, fighting it so much and um, kind of thinking about the fact that like, I, I started out in design by ripping off other people's logos and then I called it design and that's the reality of what, what it was at the time it was Blue Note album covers and, and um, corporate logos and everything else and then Suddenly I kind of realized that um, now, you know, I do these shows and things like that and, and it's basically like, I'm not an artist, I'm a designer um, and as I do these shows it basically be becomes like, I'm doing logos and design now and ripping that off and, and saying that it's art, which, you know, for the most part I don't say that it is. Because everything in this show right now will fade within the next month. With Crayola markers tend not to be that permanent. Um, and everything is like non-archival and it's pretty much already yellowing so it's gonna go away and I, I think that that's like if I, don't, if I do a show and I want to frame it and ne use nice paper and paint and everything else I'll never do it because I just don't have the time or money or even the interest I mean glue book at grad school is just what's on the wall right here I have all this collected imagery and information. I think I got it from like the Vogue men's site or something. It's like European Vogue or something. And it had just dope pictures of all these individuals. Yeah. I have a lot of Untitled 1, Untitled 2, AAA Untitled, so it goes to the top of the food chain when you're looking for the file. And then there's ones with like stuff, stuff 1, stuff 3, stuff 4. Um, I joked that I could do it when, before the flash drives came, you could do a, a wall of CDs that were like stuff. Stuff for this. Natural Born Tees 1, Natural Born Tees 2, and B Tees, and B T-shirts. And it's like one image, you know, like, for Archetype, for Archetype 2, you know. Archetype Cover, Archetype 2 Cover, you know. Archetype Final 2 Cover. Often, um, my biggest excuse in the world is I just can't do it, or I won't do it, or I refuse to do it, and there is a certain nature that if I say, oh, nothing is that important on this wall, and nothing really matters, then, I'm allowed to sort of do something with it. I used to complain all the time about I don't have a studio, I have to do a full-time job and everything else and it's like those were all excuses just not to do personal work and now all of a sudden since I've kind of made a transition in my life it's like I'm doing more personal work but it's not worthy of, it's not like the personal work that everyone thinks is personal work. It's like it's just a bunch of stuff and it's going on the wall. For the most part I like to just you know flex lyrics on tees and stuff like that. I'm the, I'm the backpack hip-hop designer of the 21st century. What's the next one? What's the next one? Uh, let's... <laughs>